Yes, sir! What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Town, coming to you live with another video, man. And check it out, man. Y'all already know what it is, man. Derrick Rose signs a one-year, $2.1 million contract with the Cavs. What does this mean? First off, let me talk about how I feel about the contract. Let's just let's just go straight straight up with that. You getting De you getting Derrick Rose for two point one million dollars? Now this ain't the MVP Derrick Rose. This is not the 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 Derrick Rose that's capable of playing in that. First off, Derrick Rose hasn't played an entire season ever. He's never played a whole season. He played eighty two games. Now he's played a whole season. I mean, he's played eighty games. He's played seventy eight games. He's played eighty one games. But he's never played eighty two games. Now that could have been, you know, they send him out because of the Bulls, you know, playoff implications, sitting players or whatever. But other than that, he's never played a full season, so he can't come in the door, you know, big swinging, talking about, you know, he he really he's really expecting to make some big money. This is more like a prove yourself contract. If you can come in, I mean, he did well last year with the um, with the Knicks. All right, now that, that that was okay. You know, he did pretty well. Eighteen points a game, played sixty four games. Hey, I'm not mad at those type of numbers, especially for Derrick Rose. Year before that with the Bulls, you know, he, he had 66 games and, uh, you know, about 16 points a game. So, you know, we're not mad at those numbers. What I'm really more looking at, what I really think the Cavs are more looking at is if Kyrie's on the way out, they're testing out other point guards. Kyrie's already made it plain that he doesn't want to play with LeBron. He wants to be anywhere that LeBron Bron isn't. Kyrie, where you want to go? Hell, if LeBron ain't there, that's probably how he feels right now. And, uh... People around the league are like, shoot, I, I can't really blame him. Somebody in the comments was like, shoot, D-Wade really didn't like playing with LeBron and Boston didn't really like playing with him. They just played with him because they won. That's what somebody said in the comments. Don't crucify me for it. I'm just telling you what people were saying. And, uh, you know, I could be inclined to believe that because when you a lead dog, if you're an alpha dog, it's hard to play with. It's hard to put your ego aside and play with somebody else or defer to somebody else, especially if you feel like you're better than that person. That's what I said in the last video. Um... What do I think about the trade? How will it work out? I don't know how it works out. I will tell you how 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 in my mind or how I feel like the Cavs feel like this probably could work out. Okay, you got. I think that I, I don't know if um I don't know if Williams is still there. You know through through whatever season. But um let's see let's see uh let's see when Darren Williams contract expires. Okay. Because y'all love it. Oh, dude, Williams isn't there anymore. Okay, so Williams is an unrestricted free agent right now. So I don't know if they're going to bring him back or what. If they already brought him back, I, I got no I got no clue about that. But I know that Derrick Rose will be there. Let's say if they if they re-sign Williams or if they already have, I don't know. Let's say if they re-sign Williams and, and they have Rose, right? Derrick Rose, I feel like, I feel like Derrick Rose could play. He could be more conducive to what they want to do or how LeBron wants to play. Because I feel like Derrick Rose is closer to closer to D-Wade than he is to Kyrie, meaning that he could probably play off the catch a little bit better than um Kyrie and that he he's he could I feel like LeBron could create kick it to kick it to Rose and Rose could catch the ball and, and do his thing more than Kyrie is willing to do it. Like Kyrie could do it, but I feel like Kyrie wants to bring the ball up, and D Rose could play very well off the catch. Like I said, I don't know if it's going to be better for him or what. But let's say they get this. Let's say, let's say they, they retain Williams and they have um, and they got Rose, right? You got two good. You got two decent point guards. You got a. You got a. You got a. You got two serviceable point guards, right? You got one that can score off the catch, one that that can run the offense kind of when he's not just being. I don't know what Darren Williams was for them guys last year, man. I mean, he just was kind of out there not turning. I can't even say he was not turning the ball over, man. He just was kind of out there last year. But anyway, you got two serviceable point guards. You got one that could be a legit threat off of the catch, and he doesn't have to do everything, so maybe he can preserve his career and go a little bit further. Now, if you get rid of Kyrie, you may be able to get a legit two guard uh, that can shoot the ball, and then... You might still be, you might be right back in business or something like that. And uh, you know they're talking about Kyrie might want to go to the Timberwolves. If he go to the Timberwolves, who you gonna get back? Wiggins, Wiggins, whoo! That could be dangerous. I don't know why the Timberwolves would want to fuck that chemistry up or what they have by bringing in somebody that wants to be ball dominant like Kyrie. It looks like they're trying, but you know it is what it is. And I wonder, doesn't it make you wonder why Derrick Rose didn't go to the Wolves? Because they said that they said that uh, you know that Tibbs wanted to get him. 
but I guess he just didn't. I don't know why he didn't go there, but hey, maybe he don't want to play no defense. Well, if you don't want to play defense, you're in the right place, baby. Anyway, Derrick Rose, two point one million dollars. I think he's a good signing for the. Uh, I mean, you, you, you're getting a steal if you if you're the Cavs for the veteran minimum, right? You're getting a steal. You're getting a serviceable point guard. It's the insurance policy of Kyrie leaves. You can get a good two guard, a good whatever else if Kyrie goes. If you decide to trade him, and the biggest thing is, I. <sighs> I don't know. Do you guys? You guys, let me know. I might be crazy, and if I'm crazy, you know, just tell me in a nice way in the comments that won't get your ass blocked. I just feel like that that D Rose, if he's even a little bit of what he was, it might be a little bit better dynamic. I mean, he it might be like he okay, LeBron, you take the ball, I I play off the catch, and um, you know. I know Derrick Rose is, is kind of ball dominant, but I feel like, I don't, I don't know why I feel this way. I just feel like Derrick Rose and the way, I just feel like he can play off the catch and be and be a little bit of, and, and they might be more effective. I, I, I don't know. I mean, it might just be my, my basketball sense, or it might just be the fact that I know that when players aren't getting along, any, anything is going to be better than what they got now, because if they're not getting along, they're not going to play well. I'm going to tell you that right now. So anything's better than what they have now, but... I, I don't know. I just feel like Derrick Rose might can play better off the catch than Kyrie did, and and he might be more willing to take that back seat and let LeBron run the show. And you know, I, I don't know, man. You guys, let me know. I'm out of here. I'm not saying he's better than Kyrie. I'm just saying he may be a better fit right now. But I'm out of here. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barber Shop, BK of the People's Champ. Got videos coming up later today. Definitely got raising with randoms coming up today. Definitely got places that Kyrie might go, and I'm out of here. Peace.